seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, to the body. So this is a bit of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to the time. Nice and soft. Okay. Speed not power. You have to speed not power. Find your movement as well. Decent amount of force that goes through your bicep. So for a long pull, just for tonight, okay, again, there may be things that you don't want to do, but, you know, but for tonight, you just, just, uh, just, just work with me. Again, I want you to practice that long pull with your thumb facing. See how this hand's nice and high? Very I mean, important. Okay, still, okay. So with a long pull, I'm comfortable there. Okay, so that's my that's my long pull. Okay, if we were a short pull, that's my short pull position. So we're just kind of getting used to where our long pull is. Okay, so we're just gonna move around. Okay, a long pull. The man's moves and the hand goes up. Long pull. Just stay still, and when he goes right uh, to his right, just gonna touch, touch. Okay, not. Back his hand, you can kind of straight that trigger, and he's going to put that hand up, and just going to get used to that nice long pull. Okay, that's all we're going to practice. So we're not going to go heavy. You have a responsibility to protect your own head, though. Okay, uh, I've been told off for saying this, but if you get hit, whose fault is it? Your fault. That's right. Okay, I think I think we're still sticking with that as a slogan. No, we're not. <laughs> It's definitely not my responsibility, someone, for it's not yours or mine, so just make sure that hands up. So one more time, just swing around, he moves, and then touch, and then I move, my touch, yeah? Oh! Okay, so just put this in the next sort of two or three minutes, I can't fix that problem, it's going to be something we need to get used to, but what issues did people have? Okay. Okay, so uh, just, just show, show me. Uh, yeah. And it feels a bit weird going into a body lock. Uh, so by changing the level here, so it feels that shot here, and getting used to being low. So like, what, what people are doing at the moment is they're kind of going down on an angle like this. Okay, so if I go down on an angle like this, then yeah, the side position is probably going to be something that happens. Whereas if I change my level and go in, so like we're doing a shot, like a double leg or a single leg or something, yeah, so when he throws that shot up here, it, that helps us kind of achieve that kind of position a little bit easier. Um, again, people being shorter, sometimes we have to kind of get on the outside to get underneath and do that. But instead of having this angle where you're going down, going down like a traditional kind of creation of jiu-jitsu and this sort of thing, we change your level and we go in. Yeah. That, that definitely helps a little bit. Great question. If anyone's not comfortable with being taken down or break falls, we'll get the crash mat out so you can just fall on the crash mat. But what's really important when you're falling, we're not posting our arms out, so we're not trying to stop ourselves falling. Okay, so we're gonna just practice it. Everyone, who's never done break falls? Just first, everyone else is comfortable with break falls. Excellent, we'll make sure the crash mat's out for yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna walk them down as well, I'm not just dropping them. So he throws his uh, shot in, change my level, and then from here, my ear pushes against his chest, and then I'm going to suck his hips in with my arms. Okay, so I end up folding him over. Okay, and that's the important thing. We want that posture broken down, right? The track go underneath. Um, what do we call it? Rainbow, rainbow stitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to make Thomas Limbo again, and I'm just going to let him fall nice and steady, yeah. Then, this is it in line, here, in, clinch, and just walking down, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Of different nuances on kind of foot position, grips, and 
all these crazy types of cards, like it's not as clear, but the fight, I think it's pretty clear. Oh, I certainly feel it's pretty clear. So from this position here, potentially we're in a 50-50. Depends how good Mark is in guard and how good I am at kind of punching him in his face or kicking him or looking for leg locks and stuff. So when I when I hit my pass and get down to here, this is where we start kind of changing the odds in my favour. So our first position, okay, is that knee on the belly. Okay, what we're not going to do is slam the knee down. Okay, we're just going to place the knee. It's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. Everyone's going to feel a little bit probably claustrophobic if you're not used to it. I'm not putting all my weight on, but I'm just getting used to putting the knee down. Then the next bit, I'm going to a press up position. One hand by his ear, one hand by his pocket, and then I'm going to go down into side. Okay, now. You could argue the umbrella's belly is better than side control because it gives you access to the mount. The mount is one of the better positions that I can be on top and one of the worst positions that Mark can be in the beat. Because from here, it's easy to start punching, clearing hands. Yeah, it's a lot more submissions for me as opposed to Mark. So, mount's a great position. But we're going to focus on side control. Because as I said, selfishly, this entire thing today is all about me. And I love side control way more than I like that. Alright, so we're just going to practice that transition. Okay, so here, pass, place, not slam. Yeah, press up position, then side control. So I've got this hand, which is near his head, just underneath, and this hand, just by his hip to start off with. I'm not putting a lot of weight on top either, I'm just kind of letting my chest sit on top. Okay, so. We're just going to get used to getting into the side control position. And I apologise, I know some people, this might be quite basic, you know, I've got our side control and stuff like that. Again, we are going to go into some, some fun stuff and, and look at um, a chicken wing tonight. Okay, so let's just practice that. Pass the hard, knee on belly, side control. Okay, on three. One, two, three. In competition, uh, you, only, you only get two lots of 30 seconds as well. And coming from a jiu-jitsu background, this has been a, a massive adjustment for me. Like, ah, I strap in like anyone else, but if I, if I could get away with just getting on top of someone and just slowly squeezing the life out of them, I'd be much happier. But those damn people making me uh, learn to do submissions quickly. Um, this is kind of why I, I've adapted some of the stuff I do. One of my favorite techniques is, is a, a Kimura. So Kimura, again, look at that right angle. Um, that's typically where I hit my submission from. Let's see how that shoulders. I'm not going to throw that one, but from this position here, if Mark goes to try and get underneath my armpit, I'm going to squish, and then I'm going to take this arm over, lift, and go under into this position. Now, with the Kimura, the arms are. Is that okay on your shoulder? Yeah. Uh, okay, mommy. Yeah. Okay. With a, a Kimura, that's a nice three angle that I can. Now the problem with, we've got with the Kimura, okay, is we've kind of got the, the map stopping us from actually hitting the submission, okay? Because the Kimura works because what we do is we take the arm back and we end up creating a little bit of pressure on the shoulder, making it bend in a way that it's not used to, usually tearing um, uh, the, the, I think it's the interior del, um, certainly, you know, does a lot of damage to, uh, uh, well, just, so there, and we're bending the arm back, but because we've got the mat in the way, it's a bit tricky. So I like to play a chicken wing if I'm going to do something quick. So the angle changes again. I know the angle this time, 45 degrees. There you go. <laughs> it's just that one I should have Okay, so in this position here, it's a lot quicker to get that hand behind the back. Okay, and that's kind of my goal when I'm attacking for either the Americana, uh, sorry, the uh, Kimura or the chicken wing. Okay. So. When we get to here, I'm going to bring the hand in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so here, yeah, that's the Kimura. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but I really like the chicken wing. Okay. So the chicken wing is all about getting his hand behind and back as quickly as possible. So I change the angle to 45, and now it's much easier. I don't need to lift this hand okay, because of the angle. Okay. So here, Kimura, okay, 45 degree angle, into that, okay, Ooh. we will look at the 
synodicia will just let each other kind of do you know kind of please tap the person okay if you're tapping the mat we've got some funky music going on we've got dancing upstairs and we've probably got mark singing in the bit as well <laughs> you promise we've got it See, I'm not lifting my chest up as well. well. We'll talk about this in a second, give you all just an object to play around with. But what I'm not doing is pulling from the top, okay? I'm just creating enough space to take the arm behind the back and be able to continue moving that hand up, okay? Give it a go. Let's see how we go. On three. One, two, three. 